have people who submit pieces to other two American journals. Do you have any people paid by the CIA who are working for television networks? This, I think, gets into the kind of uh, getting into the details, Mr. Chairman, that I'd like to get into in executive session. Do you have any people being paid by the CIA who are contributing to the national news services, AP and UPI? Well, again, I think we're getting into the kind of detail, Mr. Chairman, that I'd prefer to handle in executive session. Literally everything you see on any mainstream media source, be it news, Netflix, billboards, magazines, YouTube videos, advertisements, or cable TV shows are controlled and deliberately released to provoke certain reactions from you and everyone else. Virtually everything your mind is consuming. Through this, they are able to control the global conversation. Whatever the media cartel is talking about, we assume everyone else is talking about it. Through the use of repetition, the opinions they present to us we think are everyone else's opinions, or at least the majority. The sharing of biased and false, false news has, has become, become all too common, common on, on social, social media. media. More alarming, some media outlets are simply aren't true without checking facts first. Unfortunately, some members of the media use their platforms to push their own personal bias and agenda to control exactly what people think. And this is extremely dangerous to our democracy. 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 This is the majority of these media platforms are there for nothing more than to parrot whatever message is demanded by the biggest contributor.